One, two, three. She is hooked up on a big dog. What's up guys? I'm back with another one. Me and Crystal set out this morning to go fish the near shore reefs. And even though it looks pretty calm here on the beach, when we got out there, it was a little snotty. And we decided to switch gears, change plans, switch it up. We came into the beach and trolled for some kingfish and that wasn't working and I'm going to show you guys why it's so important to be ready for anything and be flexible when you go fishing if you're looking to fill a cooler or you're looking to have dinner and you know you can't be one one track mind with it. Uh, we saw some birds diving. We went over and checked it out and look what we ended up with guys. That is a cooler of nice, large Spanish mackerel. Check these things out. Pretty fish, aren't they? Anyways, uh, we saw the birds and then we saw the bait. I dug through my stuff. I still had the gotcha plug from the bluefish video. And I also had a little glass minnow lure and a little Mirodyne. And uh, we had one light rod on the boat with us. And I think we got a one man limit in here. But that's really all I want to eat anyways. But uh, enough of me talking. Check out this hot action. Three. She is hooked up on a big dog. Keep that line tight, babe. If you want, you could tighten that drag just to like a quarter turn. It don't reel against some pulling drag there. That might be a king. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Dream and drag. Let's see what do we got? Keep them out of that motor. Oh, it's just a jumbo Spanish Mac. All right, babe, just swing them in the boat. Don't worry about me. Oh, he's just cowboy hooked. Big dog. But he is the biggest one of the day. <laughs> oh yeah, look at him all over in the water. Nice. There he is. That sounds like a good one. Yeah, a little bit better fish. You're up next. All right, Crystal's up again. We got the ball of glass minnows just in front of the boat. She's gonna cast to it. She'll bring that plug back as fast as she can and boop, fish on. Just pure clean fun. Nice to see the Spanish here already. Oh, lost it at the boat. All right, throw it out there and get another one. Flip him in the boat. That's a good one. Oh man, he's trying to get me. This don't work. That's another good one. Yes. Real nice. That bait ball. I don't know how many more lures I got to lose. Oh, as soon as it hit the water, I didn't even that time for real. Immediately on. Crystal seems to be catching 
the better fish than me, and I don't understand why. Another ladyfish. Oh no, get in the boat. I want to show you what these Spanish Max are feeding on. Uh, these little glass minnows here. And I hope you guys can see this knot. And look at the look at the Spanish right there doing circles around these things. Look how awesome that bait ball of glass minnows is. I really hope this comes out. And they stay tight like that just to uh, avoid predators. So we have an older GoPro and Crystal's trying to get some underwater footage of the bait ball. Hopefully it comes out. make some good uh, smoked fish as well as sashimi guys oh man that was fun check that thing out uh, next time you see us we'll be at the house so we're back home cleaning up this uh, pile of mackerel I'm gonna show you two ways all these ones here I'm gonna smoke uh, so I'm not going to be nearly as picky for the smoker. This is what I do. Come in, come down, just glide knife right on top of that backbone like that. Come in, go down, glide that knife right on top of that backbone just like that. That's done. Mm -hmm. Come in here, cut that rib cage out. And uh, that'll be ready for the smoker there. Then, for these ones that I'm going to do sashimi. I'll take one of these nice bigger fish. Come in. Diagonal behind the head. Tip of my knife. Come right down the back here out the other side come right up his back like that come in up get those pin bones popped and back down just like that And that one, that top loin right there, we're gonna do sushi. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Mullet wants some sushi. So I have some of the top loins off of those Spanish mackerel, and we're gonna cut them up for sashimi. Just trim that little bit out there. One thing I did do is put them in the freezer for about 10, 20 minutes to get them super cold. It'll make it easier to cut them. What I'm gonna do is just come in here and cut them at an angle or a bias like this. Somebody on TikTok corrected me. That's on the bias. So mm -hmm. cutting it on the bias. I've never heard that term before. I definitely have. I just, mm -hmm. sometimes when you're doing these videos 
and you're looking for the right words and you got a million things you're thinking about, sometimes the wrong words come out and people are quick to uh, point it out to you. to you. Um, I got this super cool flounder, I think it's a charcuterie board. <laughs> you said that one good. <laughs> uh, I could use it as a cutting board, but honestly, I'm like a little bit scared to because it's so pretty. And my buddy made that Travis Luther. Travis Luther. He's a really cool artist. He did that trout painting for me. Mm -hmm. And he also did some other art we have in our house. But you guys look up Travis Luther art on Instagram. Super cool dude. Uh, he's into fly fishing and does a whole bunch of really cool art from woodworking to like acrylics, everything. He, and he does a lot of uh, custom pieces. So anyways. Lay these pieces out here. Make it look bougie, kinda, <laughs> sorta. It's late, I'm tired. Honestly, I wanna eat and go to bed because we're going to pull uh, blue crab traps tomorrow, which I'm sure you guys will see. And for the person that's gonna complain about that, I'm the only one that eats this soy sauce, so I can open it with my <laughs> mouth. Do a little soy. And, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Man, I don't know why I make these things so hard to get into. Usually when I'm making a video, I make sure they're all open first. There we go. Is it spicy? It's definitely <laughs> spicy. But a little pro tip, if you're making a video, uh, make Look sure your that. stuff's open first. So. You're fancy. Look at that, we fancy <laughs> with our uh, sushi board. Very nice. And try some. Do get a little bit of that wasabi on there, get it in that soy sauce. I'm telling you, that is super good. You would not think it when someone tells you Spanish mackerel, but uh, here, let me see that. You try some, okay? All it right. is really, really good. Mm hmm. It is really good. I think next time we should take some of that to like the sushi place and, and have them, have like them make us some sushi. For sure. So anyways, guys, like I said, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. We're going crabbing tomorrow, which you guys will see. If you got this far in the video and you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, like, comment. It'll help me keep making them. Um, and we'll see you on the next one.